Hi everyone, so welcome to today's story. For this one, I have chosen where the wild things are. Okay, mainly because there's loads of imagination on it, in it and we've been thinking a lot about habitats and adaptations in our geography and science in the last couple of weeks. So I thought this was a really good book for, to help our imaginations. You can see the, the wild things there. That night, Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Can you remember what the word mischief meant? And another. What's he doing there? What's he doing in that picture? Can you spot as well? There's a little clue on that picture that I've not seen before. Look at the picture that he's drawn that's on there. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. So he's been sent to bed for answering back. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. So what's growing in his bedroom? What's and grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. So what habitat is he in? What sort of animals might he find in his forest? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. So he's just arrived in the forest and now he's got a boat to go across the water. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, of to where the wild things are. That's come out of the water there. How would you describe that creature? And then he came to the place where the wild things are. They roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth. So they've got... Rrr, and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. The animals, how would you describe them? What are they like? Till Max said, Be still! and tamed them with his magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. So he stared them down and he scared them with his magic trick. If you try to stare off really hard and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. What do you think a rumpus is? And what's he doing? They think he is a king. And what are they doing in that picture there? What do you think a rumpus is from that picture? What are they doing now? King Max doing? How would you describe the creatures? They're all a little bit different. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. So how is he feeling sat there? He sent them all to bed. How does he feel? And who do you think he's missing? But the wild thing cry, uh, things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said no. So the wild things want to keep him. But he's going off on his little boat. How do you think the wild things would talk? The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped onto his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. Where's he going back to? Where do you think he's going? And into the night of his very own room where he found supper waiting for him. So he's gone back 
and his dinner's waiting on the table for him. And it was still hot. And that is the end of the story. Where do you think Max travelled to? Where do you think the wild things are? And think about the description. One of your tasks this week was to come up with an imaginative animal and some adaptations of it. How were those animals, how were the wild things adapted to live in the forest? That's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow for some more stories.